Hey there and welcome back. We're showing you how to build a real $100,000 per month business leveraging the power of Amazon. Now if you haven't watched the first video, go ahead and watch that right now. But assuming you have watched the first video, let's go inside because there's someone very special I'd like you to meet. This is Ben and he started this business just about two years ago and he already does about $1.4 million per year. So Ben, why did you start this business? Yeah, I started the, this business just as kind of a side project um, about a little over two years ago um, with my wife and uh, the whole goal is just to kind of create a little bit of passive income while I work my day job. My wife is a stay at home mom so it'd be, it was a great business for her to, to work from home and be able to spend time with the kids. Okay, great. And so if you don't mind, let's show what you have going on today. Pulled up my uh, Seller Central on my app. So today we've sold uh, 100 units and about 158,000 in the last 30 days in revenue. Okay, sweet. So I think you were saying earlier you do about 150 to $200,000 a month in sales, right? Yes. Okay, cool. And about how much of that is profit? It's about 20 to 25% profit margin. Okay, so that means you're doing about 30 to $50,000 a month in profit, which is absolutely incredible. So yeah, thank you very much for sharing this. You know, this is a perfect example of the power of this business model. You see, Amazon sold over $170 billion last year and will likely sell over $220 billion this year. There's so much opportunity on this platform right now, it's crazy. In fact, Amazon has recently completely leveled the playing field, so people just like us now have the same exact tools and resources as the biggest brands in the world. This means it's incredibly easy for people just like you, me, Ben, and everyone else who knows what they're doing to build hugely profitable businesses with Amazon in a matter of months. Today, we're gonna to show you how to build your brand, find a high quality supplier, and nearly automate this entire business using Amazon's own resources. So let's go back to Mike McClary to show you the next step. In the first video, we showed you how to find great products to sell on Amazon. You also learned about the Profit Spotlight tool to find these opportunities incredibly fast. So once you have the product opportunity you wanna sell picked out, the next step is to find a supplier. But before I show you that, let's clarify something. When we talk about finding a product opportunity and finding a supplier, we do not mean you're going to sell someone else's brand. For example, this is a great opportunity that we found on Amazon that sells about $90,000 every single month. When you find an opportunity like this using what we've showed you, you're going to go out and create your own brand, not sell this one. With this product, that means you're going to find a supplier that manufacture ones like this and you're going to have them put your own brand and logo on it. By doing it this way, you now control the brand and can build it so it's worth a lot of money. You're also not competing with hundreds of other people selling the exact same brand. It's the best way to do this business. Let's show you how you'd find a supplier for a product just like this one that sells for about $26 and can be sourced for around eight. 10 years ago, you'd have to travel across the world in order to find manufacturers who could make products for you to private label. Now, it's as easy as logging into any computer from wherever you are and going to a site called alibaba.com. This site was created by one of the richest men in the world, Jack Ma. And once you see exactly what it does, you'll understand exactly why he's been so successful. So here I am on Alibaba.com, and the first thing we're going to do is simply search for the product that we want to source. And we're going to type in automatic soap dispenser. And once I hit return, it's going to pull up thousands of results for us. And in this case, it pulled back over 17,000 different results. Now let's narrow that down a bit. The first thing we're going to filter on is something called a gold supplier. This way we'll limit our results to only those suppliers that Alibaba has pre-qualified. Next, we're also going to filter off of those who participate in the trade assurance program. This program actually protects you and your investment by having Alibaba hold on to your money until your products have been verified as manufactured and shipped. Now from there, we've narrowed it down to 15,000 products, which is still quite a bit to choose from. So we need to go through this list and make sure that we're truly picking out the products that are the soap dispensers that we want. As you can see, this first one is not the one we're looking to sell, neither is the second, and the third one's even different. But already in the fourth result, we see an automatic soap dispenser that looks almost identical to one that I showed you earlier. So let's pull that one up. And I want to pull up at least two other ones so we can really have three different suppliers to reach out to and get quotes and estimates from. So I'm going to continue down. And the very next one, well, I see that they're 
offering as low of a minimum order quantity as 100 pieces. However, they're not giving us any pricing. And so since I want to try to get the best price as possible, if they're not giving me pricing, I might as well go on to any of the other suppliers listed here. I'm going to keep going down. And there we go. Another one, uh, the 250 milliliter metal stainless steel automatic soap dispenser. It's got great prices, anywhere from 3 to $5 a piece and a minimum order quantity of 1,000 pieces. So let's pull that one up. And then let's go back and find one more to look from. I'm just going to keep scrolling down. And let's see. Here we go. Down here, there's one called the high-end, unique, wholesale, eco-friendly stainless steel hand washer. And the prices are really low, $3.21 to $3.45. And look at this minimum order quantity. You can get an order going for as little as 200 pieces. So let's select that one as well. Now, once you have at least three different suppliers to look from, you simply wanna go through each of these different product listings and make sure that this product is the one that you wanna source. So remember, we're looking for an automatic soap dispenser. So I'm gonna scroll down and look at this first one. I'm gonna read a little bit about the product itself. It's a liquid soap dispenser. Uh, also, it has listed that it's an automatic soap dispenser. And if we go down and read a little more, we can actually see some pictures of this in use. You can see where the infrared light is on and it's automatically distributing the soap out of there. So this is definitely the type of product that we wanna look for. And the pricing on this again, it's as low as $3.21 up to $3.45, and we could start off for as low as 200 pieces. So this would definitely be one of the suppliers that I would want to contact. Now, I'm going to do the same thing for the other two examples we pulled up. Simply want to scroll down, make sure that it's the type of product that we're looking for. And this one definitely is. They're showing you a picture of how it automatically shoots out the soap. And then the third one as well. This one has prices that are a little higher, uh, anywhere from 623 to 685, and the minimum order quantity is 300 pieces. And I can tell right away, looking at their image here, it's also an automatic soap dispenser. So the next step here would be to reach out to these three suppliers and try to find out exactly what my price would be and what the minimum order quantity would be. Now, don't worry if you don't know how to contact a supplier from China or any other country, we have you covered. We're actually giving you, in a free download for this video, our actual supplier templates that'll tell you exactly what to say to these suppliers. So when you click on contact supplier, it's going to pull up a screen that lets you send an email to each one of these suppliers. And you'll see here, I've already cut and pasted in the template that you're going to get access to that tells you exactly what to say to the suppliers. You simply introduce yourself. You'll want to fill in your name. You also want to fill in your company name and you want to tell them that you're a company specializing in the type of products that you're looking to sell. So in this example, we'd be looking to source kitchen products. Now we're also going to ask the supplier certain things that they're going to know you need to know, such as are they able to provide custom packaging, how long will it take them to make these products, and then you'll want to know what the pricing is based on several different minimum order quantities. Now, even though you only want to sell and buy the minimum quantity possible, you may want to try to get only 100 units or 200 units or maybe 300, you still want to let them know that you're looking to be a big selling producer at some point in time. So by asking them for prices at higher MQs, such as from 1,001 to 5,000 pieces, you'll put into the mind that you're going to be growing and ordering more products from them, which will make them much more likely to want to work with you and give you the best pricing. Now, after you've entered in your own information, and be sure to put your own name and title at the bottom, you'll simply send the inquiry, and usually within 24 to 48 hours, you'll get responses back from these suppliers, and sometimes even other suppliers in Alibaba, telling you what their prices are and their minimum order quantities are. Now, I've already contacted several suppliers, and I know from experience that I could get this product here with a minimum order quantity of 300 units for around $6 from, from one of these suppliers on Alibaba. And then I'm going to estimate, because I do actually sell and ship products that are very similar in size to this, it's only going to be about a buck or less to ship these products all the way to the United States. So just to be safe, let's say that it's going to take $2 to get them all the way from China and then to Amazon, bring our total cost up from $6 for the product to $8 in total, all the way from getting the product sourced and shipped to Amazon and ready to sell. Now you know how to source a product from China. You see, almost all regular consumer products, like the millions sold on Amazon, come from China. It's where much of the world's manufacturing happens today, including high-end products like Apple iPhones. However, if you sell a product that goes in your body or on your body, like a nutritional supplement or beauty cream, those products are likely going to be manufactured in the USA. So Rich is going to show you how to source a product from right here in the US. Sure thing, Mike. So sourcing a product from the USA is very similar and is very simple, even if you've never done it before. 
You see, this product right here can be sourced right here in the USA. It sells for about $23 and can be sourced for about $3.50. And we estimate this product is generating around $150,000 a month in revenue. So let's show you how to do it. To find a supplier for anything that goes on or in your body, we recommend you find your supplier in the USA. So to find a supplier, we simply go to Google and then we search for the product name and private label. You can see here I've typed in a Staxanthin private label. Looking at the results, we want to first look for results that include the product name and are not just general results. So the first one we see is private label a Staxanthin 10 milligrams PL supplements. And that's the first one after the ads. So I'm going to open it in a new tab. And you can see it's almost the same as the product we're looking for. If we go back, we can see that the product we want is 12 milligrams and a 50 count. In other words, 50 tablets in one bottle. And this result is showing us, and they're very active. You can see I've already got a pop-up here with Mr. Steve Ward trying to contact me. But this is a 10 milligrams. Um, so it's a little bit smaller but it's a little bit higher count. In other words, it's 60 instead of 50. Now, this is not something you need to worry about. It's not a big deal. And you can speak to suppliers to see if they provide this size. Don't stop at just one. I've just opened one. You want to contact multiple suppliers that match your product and contact them using the same methods as Mike described. Negotiation is key. And remember, you can access our supplier contact templates below this video. Now lastly, you can check Alibaba for the product, but make sure you select US suppliers like this. So I've searched for a Stixanthin, and then all I need to do is here where you see all countries and regions, is click on it, and then scroll down until you see United States, and then just check that box. And that will automatically remove anyone who's not manufacturing in the USA. And then it's just a simple case of scrolling down and finding a product that matches the one you're looking for. In this case, we want 12 milligrams, or at the very least 10. And I'm seeing four milligrams here, and another four milligrams, again, four milligrams, and just keep going. We're getting closer here, but then we've got this one, 10 milligrams in 60 soft gel capsules. So if we take a quick look at that one, we can see for 200 to 999 bottles, it's $4.60 per bottle. By just going one product more to 1,000 bottles, you can see the price is only 360. So we've got a very nice profit margin, especially when you take into account, we're gonna be shipping inside the USA. We're not shipping from abroad. The advantage with Alibaba is they are more likely to give you a ballpark figure without you having to contact them like you've just seen. So this is great for research. So that is how you source products in the USA. Back to you, Matt. Once you've found one or more suppliers for the Amazon product opportunity, the next step is to order a few samples. You want to make sure the product you're going to sell into your brand is the highest quality possible. Right here are three samples straight from different manufacturers in China for the automatic soap dispenser product opportunity. So this is the product right here that Rich actually found and Mike already showed you how to source. So this is the actual one selling on Amazon for about $25, $26. And these are three samples straight from China. So this first one here can be sourced for about $5.55 with a minimum order quantity, which just means that if before any negotiation, that's how many the supplier would want you to order to get started. So this one's MOQ is about 500 or minimum, minimum order quantity. Now this next one, these are all very, very similar. They all have a little button on the top, all about the exact same height. I mean, as you can tell, they both have the purple lens here. So this is pretty much the exact same product. And so the next one can be sourced for about $6.10 with a minimum order quantity of about 500 units. Now this last one down here, you know, before any negotiation, once again, still has a kind of purple lens there, about the same height, has about the same bottom. That one can be sourced for about $6, according to the supplier, and only has a minimum order quantity of just 300 units. That's all it would take to get started with one of these products that's pretty much exactly the same. And as you can see, the manufacturer sent them in some basic boxes. So your logo would go on the box, you'd have all your own information, they probably have some different packaging options. And that's really about how simple it is to create your own brand and of, of an existing opportunity on Amazon. So after evaluating the samples and picking the best one from the best supplier, it's time to place your first inventory order. We recommend ordering about 300 units to get started for your first order. This lets you do a launch like you'll learn in the next video, start producing sales, and to get a good chunk of reviews for your new product. Depending on the product you're selling, your initial inventory investment is likely to be between about $500 to $2,500, including shipping.
And once you place your order, you'll likely need to put about 30% down and then pay the remaining 70% when the product is ready for shipment. And speaking of shipping, let's get Mike to show you the simple process to get your products from your supplier to selling on Amazon. Once you've placed your order, you'll need to figure out how to get your products all the way from the supplier, which could be thousands of miles away and across several oceans, to Amazon's FBA warehouse. Now, if your products are being made in the same country that you'll be selling in, then the process for getting them shipped to Amazon is incredibly simple. You simply log into your Amazon Seller Central account, enter in the product details such as quantity, weight, and the number of cartons, enter in the address of your supplier, and then Amazon will automatically generate shipping labels for you that you email to your supplier. They'll print them out and place these labels on your product cartons, and then have UPS or whatever delivery service Amazon has selected pick them up and deliver them straight to Amazon's FBA warehouse. Now, if you're importing your products from another country, you might think the process is overwhelming. There are the logistics of how to get your products loaded onto a boat or a cargo plane, all of the rules and regulations that must be followed when products are crossing borders, and the issue of customs duties and fees that have to be calculated and paid. Fortunately, this entire process can be turned over to companies that are expert at this and do it for a living. These companies are called freight forwarders, and they offer this service at incredibly affordable rates that are all included in the overall shipping charges. Once you've placed your order for your products, all you need to do is contact a freight forwarder and give them the basic details of your order, the type of product, the quantity, the dimensions and number of cases they'll be shipped in, and then your supplier's contact details. All that comes straight from your supplier, and once you give that to your freight forwarder, they handle everything else. Even all the customs duties and fees that have to be paid anytime you import products will all be included in one simple final shipping bill that will come from your freight forwarder with all the details laid right out for you. Now, if you have no idea how to find a freight forwarder, then keep watching. We're going to include a bonus at the end of this video that will tell you exactly how to find one and make this process easier than it's ever been. Now here's the really cool part. Once you get your inventory to Amazon, just like Mike mentioned, when a customer buys from you, Amazon takes care of everything. Amazon offers a service called Fulfillment by Amazon or FBA. With this service, you get to use the tons of massive warehouses around the world for your business. Amazon will take care of all your picking, packing, shipping, and even most of your customer service. If you're using FBA like we absolutely recommend, then all Amazon Prime members get free two-day shipping, and in some cases, one-day shipping, and it costs you nothing extra. So Michael, how many orders did Amazon ship out for you yesterday? Amazon shipped out 342 orders yesterday. Okay, awesome, and about how much did that make you? Uh, that was $9,429.59. And so about how much profit was that? 27% profit, uh, 2,500 bucks. Okay, that's great. So $2,500 in profit all while sitting here hanging out with us. That's the power of this business and letting a massive company like Amazon do a lot of the heavy lifting for you. Michael sells over $2.3 million a year with this business and built it to get out of his job as a traveling salesman. Now he gets to run his business with just his iPad and a laptop and now only travels when he wants to. This business is perfect whether you want to make an extra $10,000 a month or whether you want to make millions of dollars per year. It really depends on your goals. You've already met someone who wanted to go much bigger with her business than just a lifestyle business. So let's go pay her a visit because she has a powerful story to tell that you must hear if you're going to do this for yourself. The clean room. Um, this is the raw materials production, so all of our oils. Now, in here, you have all the actual filling, capping. All right, so this is where our product, um, when it's finished, comes so that we can do the outer packaging. It goes in a box or a poly bag, put the inserts in it, and all that. Okay. Yeah, and then ship it to Amazon. And then we have our warehouse, so this is all of our packaging components, jars, and bottles, and caps, and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, wow, this is incredible. Yeah. So, you know, you, you could have basically run this business from just a laptop if you wanted to. Like, I mean, that's how a lot of our members do it. Yeah. But, you know, you decided to go the route of creating your own warehouse and manufacturing facility and having staff and everything like that. You know, kind of why did you decide to go that route with your business? Well, you know, the first thing that happened that kind of initiated it for me is that mm -hmm. I had a problem with my supplier. Oh, okay. And, um, you know, I ran out of several of my very key products and mm -hmm. I said, I don't really want this to ever happen again. 
I'm just going to start my own manufacturing company. Mm -hmm. So that was sort of the initial phase, but I like the fact that, you know, I can turn my cash flow around a bit faster okay. and I can fund launching a lot of new products and I can do it fast and you know, I can have some control over like the quality of the products. Mm -hmm. and So I just, I enjoy it. I enjoy having a group and having staff and actually coming here. And yeah, and I guess yeah. if you would have built this kind of thing, you've probably got some pretty big goals for your business, right? Oh yeah, yeah. No, I like the diversity too. Yeah. It is another source of income mm. and it gives me different opportunities, different exit strategies. And Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, really, uh, congratulations on your success. Thank uh, you. It's been awesome to see what you what you built with your business, and uh, wish you the best. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me, Angie. This was awesome. Yes. You're welcome. Thanks for coming. Yeah. We'll see you soon. Okay. Bye. So with just a laptop and internet connection, you can build a real, tangible, physical products business right from your home or anywhere you want. But for now, go ahead and grab the Sourcing and Automation Blueprint 2.0 below this video. It includes a full flowchart of everything you need to do to get a hot product opportunity you find on Amazon live and available for sale. It also includes details on finding suppliers, ordering samples, creating a brand, shipping, FBA, ordering inventory, and more. As a bonus, we've also included pre-written supplier contact templates so you come across like a pro even if you've never contacted a supplier before. In the next video, you'll learn how to take your brand new product to the top of Amazon search rankings in as little as five days with a new listing launch system. This will be the first time anyone has ever seen this brand new, never before seen system. We're even going to show you a real example of a product that we just promoted with this system that's already jumped up multiple pages and should be at the top of page one by the next video. You'll also see how we just used this strategy to take a brand new product to near the top spot for a highly competitive keyword in just a few days. Get the special bonus below this video right now and we'll see you in the next video.